welcome those of you who are watching Oregon State knock off UCLA. Rich Burke and Jennifer Mountain here at Matthew Knight Arena in Eugene. And we've got a new game between the number 17 Oregon Ducks and the USU Trojans, both teams in the top 40 in the net rankings. Entering today, Oregon number 13 in the net rankings, USC number 39. Neil Rogers at the free throw line for the Oregon Ducks. USC playing without Caddy Sissoko, the Minnesota transfer, their leading scorer, suffered a left calf injury on Friday at Oregon State. Yeah, just unfortunate. You just hate to see a kid go. Marshall. Yeah, Marshall, 64% are coming in. 74%. Last year, McDonald was on there a couple of years ago, Linwood High School in Los Angeles. Two-point game. You can just see that ball pressure by Williams. Relentlessly on defense. There's a dub to the cutter Rogers. Che, the offensive rebound, can't finish. Get it back to Che. Her shot blocked by Marshall, who gets called for the foul, and she doesn't like it. That's a big foul for USC. Filipina Che. Calgary, Alberta native. We'll have one more. 39% are coming in. They, she made a both, and actually this broke looks pretty good. Yep. And a traveling violation, and USC turns it over. That's their fourth turnover of the quarter. You know, USC really kind of lays their hat on their defense, and you can just see the pressure. What Oregon is in defensively. Aku Wafo in deep to love, who had to go between her hands. That's five turnovers on USC. Taya Hanson, the former Sun Devil. On the drive, Rodgers. Blue pass Williams and put it in. India Rodgers, the former Trojan. Well, again, so explosive to the rim. Great little finish. Kind of changed her hands in the air. Great finish. She has some fire in her eyes tonight. Yeah. Kelly Graves, her head coach, says that in any game she has the ability to be the best player on the court. She just has to consistently want to do so. Yeah, loves coaching her, loves her personality, great student athlete. Dubious three would arrive for USC at the other end. Hanson cast for three, nails it. And, and she sent it three rows deep, huh? She sure did. Here's a DK against Che. Blocked by Che, right on cue, two blocks for Filipina. Adika says, all right, I'm kicking it back out. Big beat. And a rebound, pow pow. What defense by Che, right on cue. Yeah, perfect timing right there, but Cash just doing a great job of walling up and athleticism. Chance Gray. And who's there to pick it up? Guess who? Filipina K. Good movement by the Ducks, moving it side top side, getting a lot of people involved, a lot of touches. Chase Van Sweden, back in the game for the Ducks. Pow Pow, rattles it home. Little turn around the Adika pick. 18 footer, no good. You know, USC is getting some good looks at the rim. They're just really struggling to score. Good dish by Pow Pow to Chance Grimm. Yeah, she's 18% right now from the field. Credit Oregon's defense, but they are getting some decent looks, and there's one right there. Yeah, we didn't expect her to play today, but. Thought maybe next week. Yep. There's a three for Tahina Pow Pow. And second in the nation in assist to turnover ratio, trailing on the Colorado State. The Ducks playing a much tougher schedule. Adika's three pointer good. Back outside the gray. Here's Van Sloot. Very good off the bounce. Taylor Williams. Calling for the ball screen. Hopkins Wapo responds. Williams all the way. Left hand high off the glass. It is. Well, so explosive to the rim there. Came off that on ball. Really quick. She's been a scorer at UC Irvine. Had translated to a major conference yet. Basham puts it up and in. She has her second field goal of the year. And her first is November the 7th. 
Well, just a great find by Rogers too. Again, creating that penetration to the paint. Reverse layup by Adika. The spin wouldn't go in. Fashion has the rebound. Crossover by Rogers. Spin move now against Williams and up and in. What a finish for India Rogers. Tonight's one of the, or today's one of those days when she's decided she's going to be the best player. Absolutely. She's taking it right at the defense every time down. Just a great job. Little in and out crossover. Spin move comes back. Bodies it up and finishes strong for the and one. The former Trojan India Rogers. 30 16 Oregon. 5 10 to go here in the second quarter. India Rogers last year in her, uh, First game against her former team, Kelly Grace called her that week just to just to see how she was doing it, and uh, told her to relax and have fun against her former team. Adika, it's another three. Her second three in three attempts. Well, again, that's where they're having the success is from the three-point line right now, especially in this quarter. The shooting is 42 percent in this second quarter. Jay, back door to Rogers. Go Princeton action. Love in deep to Akunwafo against Che. Again, good straight up defense by Filipina Che. Using her height advantage. Good floater nice. by Coyla. She had a smile on her face as she crossed the timeline. Chance get Gray driving it in deep and scooping it in. Dika Gray is a three-point shooter. She could drive like that. That's going to open things up for her even more. Dika inside now to Love. Good pass from Mira, and Love draws the foul. Did play against Oregon State and uh, played 18 minutes on Friday. But she doesn't think it's going to be too long. But not available today. And Rhea Marshall is in foul trouble. Love misses the second. Not happy with herself. Yeah, having both of those guys out right now with Marshall in foul trouble. USC really competing hard, just doesn't have a lot of offensive weapons right now on the floor. There's a turnover by Pow Pow. On the drive, Adika. Rebound, Littleton. Former Gamecock and national champion last year. Rebound, Filipina Che. She's already got 13 boards. Just phenomenal. Scoop to the hoop by Rogers. And she just flat picked the pocket of Ak Akunwafo. Hanson for three, got it. India Rogers wanted that ball more. Oh my goodness, just hustle playing hard. And then swings the ball and gets Hanson for the three. Yeah, Therese is not going to be happy about that. Since. No. Learn from it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Here's Akunwafo against Che, double T by Pow Pow. And a traveling violation. It was the right idea. There's that three by Hanson off the, the great hustle play by Rogers. Yeah, and crowd is into Che today, just doing a tremendous job on the boards. She comes out, she points 13 rebounds, couple of assists. Big round of applause from the crowd as well. Can he bash it back in? Hands it back off to Rogers. And now Gray to work against Littleton. Basham sets the pick. Gray in deep. Rejection by Akunwapo. Good rejection. The way to stay with the ball. Gray, catch and shoot. Rattles it home. Chance Gray. Nineteen point lead for Oregon. AJ McCord and Casey Jacobson coming up on a halftime report from the Pac-12 Network Studios. And there's an offensive foul against Coy Love. Well, right now, Oregon on both ends of the floor, just so dynamic. Teamwork defensively right there, picks up the offensive foul. USC 0 of 4, and have turned it over three times in the last minute 45. So at halftime, it's a 19-point lead for the Oregon Ducks. 6,000, looks like a similar crowd here. For New Year's Day. They have enjoyed this one immensely so far. 
All right, Ducks opening up in his zone. They want to get the ball to the high post, as you talked about with Lindsey Gottlieb. They get into the low post to Marshall, who gets fouled by Che. This weekend, squeezing the ball. And now here's Graham Marshall. The true freshman on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. And he gains four starts. All five starters from last year. And four of the top five scores are gone for USC. Including leading scorer and rebounder Jordan Jenkins. Averaged 15 points and seven rebounds. And it's Luton all the way into the front court to Che as the Ducks break the pressure. India Rogers drive and kick it back outside to Vance Luton, who drives on a Dika and pokes it home. Yeah. Ended up with 15 in the second half against UCLA. Yeah, she's got to get herself going a little bit earlier in the game. And Coach Graves talked about that on the other day with us on the phone. And just such a skilled player, we'd like to see her get going a little earlier. A Dika kick out to the weak side wing, and Williams hits the three. We yeah. talked about playing four quarters. Foul effect on the screen on Che, her third foul. So Filipina in a bit of foul trouble. Well, especially with this depleted roster, you know, they really can't afford too many people in foul trouble. Three pointers good for Destiny. And the drive Rogers to Che. Last year while with South Carolina. There's a block for a little tenant last year with South Carolina in the simple game against Stanford for the game to uh, see where the win. Maturity and Good job by Marshall. They're taking it right at Shay. She doesn't want to pick up a four. It's just a smart offensive move. And able to finish. And Sluton high low to Shay going against Marshall. Again, they want to pick up a four. Maybe unable to get it. Out of the way by Atlika. Oh. Back behind the back dribble by Rogers. Wow. Oh. Six assists as well. A two rebounds, part B. Six assists, yes. Thank you. And three steals now. Rogers all Pac-12 last year, first year on the back. That's the tops of the Pac-12, second in the nation in blocks per game. He tried to dish it to Aku Waffle, Waffle, but uh, Pow Pow took it away. Pow Pow ahead to Gray on the runner. What a great game. Well, when we talked to Coach Graves, you know, he, he talked about how Pow Pow really was focused on her defense. There's a great example of really just anticipation and getting better. Gray, the three-point play. Second highest graded recruit ever at Oregon. According to ESPN, second only to the great Sabrina Unesky. It's not a bad company to be in. Uh-uh. Going to be bashing back in the game for the Ducks. Gets playing for the first time since game one, November 7th. Come off a knee injury and on the drive by. Good learning experience. Should be able to get plenty of minutes. As much as they want to let her have with her knee. Down the stretch here. One more coming for Rhea. Pow Pow now, seven points, five rebounds, three assists. It got real quiet in here, didn't it? Yeah, Hanson knocks down a three. It got a little louder. Yeah, it did. I'll tell you, she's done a nice job today coming in off the bench, not only scoring the basketball, just her energy level. Sophia Dumbia. Marshall put Hosen down in the air. Scoop to the hoop. Foul on Fashion. Marshall at the other end here did a nice job. Nice little up fake and then nice strong little move to the rim. Marshall limited to eight minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. Injury separate on Friday at Oregon State. Fashion, first long range effort, doesn't go. Boy Love over to the corner. Three pointer, good for now. Possession for USC. Swings it and get a good look. And there's the anticipation by Love on the steal and an easy two. Again, live ball turnover. First foul on Allison Mira. Inside the Rodgers. 
Rodgers, 15 points, 6 assists, a couple of rebounds. Also has 3 steals. Came in averaging 14.7. She now has 7. Williams stepping behind the screen. Pow Pow the rebound. The hands of catch and shoot and me. Yeah, I just don't think she's been in rhythm too well offensively shooting the ball today. She's done a lot of good things, don't get me wrong. Two of seven from the field. Okay, Hanson, meanwhile, with a season high in points, a dozen. Season high in three points. One more for Marshall, who's seven of eight at the line today. Well, she set the tone right from the tip on the boards. A lot of offensive rebounds early on for Filipino Chay. Nice little pull up. First two pointer she's taken. What a great addition to this roster. Really understands her role and exact, exactly what you need as a coach. Kids coming in. I mean, a lot of people transfer expecting to start, but she's done a great job. Has she been a starter at ASU? Marshall with three on the timer. Rattles it home. Stay back to her. To Gray. How about that, Jay to Gray again? Straight on three by Bella Perkins. Battles out. Rebound for Jay. She has now matched her career high with 18 boards. Can she get to 20? She's got a good chance. Hanson for three. Got it. Taylor Hanson is feeling. Late in the game against Portland back in early December. Taylor Hosendove had a chance at a triple double and she fell one point shy at the end of the game. There's a nice bucket there. At the end of the game, Jeff, but put the ball in herself. She was crying afterwards because she didn't realize that her teammate needed one point for a double double. I said triple double, a double double. That's pretty impressive. Watch take, pow pow. Yeah, take a look. Nice job of just reverse pivot. Goes back to her left hand and nice little jump hook with her left hand there. How has got nine points, six rebounds, and five assists. Tay Hansen comes out to a big round of applause. A double high five for Kelly Gray. Hansen leads with a season high 17 points. Five of seven from three. First year with the Ducks after four years at ASU. 114 games for the Sun Devils, including 62 starts. And Kelly said that she has accepted her role coming off the bench, which is big for their team chemistry. Oh, it's huge. It's, especially with the you know depleted roster like we've talked about. You've got to have production, bench point production. And she's done a great job. They have 21 bench points today from a very small bench. Olivia Rogers now with 19 points to go along with six assists. Under two minutes left. Then all Ducks from the get-go. It was a 10-8 game, and then the Ducks went on a 9-0 run. Love, who's played well, is blocked from behind by Basham. And a floater over Basham by Taylor Bigby, the former Duck. Yeah, I've, I've been impressed, especially with Love's defense in this second half. Done a nice job. Kay with her 20th rebound puts it back up and in. First duck with a 20 rebound game since Jillian Elaine, January of 2016. Again, good company to be in right there. And a putback at that. That's what you'd like to see as they're putting it back after she grabs it, keeps it high, and finishes. He's got six points. And Marshall again just struggling from the field. Decent look. Mid range jumper at the free throw line. Just 3 of 15 right now in the game. Came in shooting 44%. She was 13 of 26 at Oregon State on Friday. Rogers feeling it. Oh, oh that one rattles out. That was in and out. Filipina Che 
late November against Michigan State in Portland at 15 points, 16 rebounds. Here she has 6 points and 20 rebounds. For the Ducks, a big win. Che with a block. The exclamation point on this one for her and the Ducks. One of the time, they don't get it off in time. Shot clock violation. Ducks will next play next Friday at Arizona State. 5 o'clock Pacific Pac-12 Network. Filipino Che will be down there. Ducks will look for their third win in the Pac-12. What a night for Che. USC, meanwhile, one week from today, Sunday, January the 8th, at UCLA. They hope to have Patty Sissoko back. The Merkamp injury. That'll be 2 o'clock on Pac-12 Network in seven days. A 28-point win for the Oregon Ducks. They split the weekend with the L.A. Schools. But great response by the Ducks. I mean, coming back after that loss to UCLA.